back by popular demand is our Rageous Live. So we're really excited to be here with you today because today's the best day. <laughs> Today is treat day. We're going to be making some outrageous treats, raw, vegan yumminess. And now we get to make dessert. <laughs> Yes, it is the best day for a creative and healthy desserts. That's what we are going to be working on today. Um, so our recipe for this day, and we will post it in the comments after the video has gone live, is for no-bake vegan coconut cookies. Oh my and gosh. they are dipped in melted chocolate. So I recently did a test run of these cookies so I can have some to show you, but they were all eaten immediately. <laughs> so it went over pretty well, but the good news is I now know how to do it. Awesome. So um, what we're gonna be using for this recipe, I have a food processor. If you have a high speed blender, that would also work, or you can mix with your hand. Um, we are using desiccated coconut, that is shredded coconut. Um, ours is pretty fine, but you can use thicker because we're gonna whip it up in here. Almond flour, um, blanched almond flour. Interesting, I would have never thought. But really? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's it. You know, you can eat it raw. It's I did good not protein know. Well, so it's just almonds. It's just up. almonds ground yeah. up. Yeah, that's the secret. Um, a sweetener, so the recipe that I follow calls for maple syrup. Here at Outrageous, we try to take it a step further and go full sugar-free. So um, sweetener of your choice, maple syrup is good, agave syrup is even lower on the glycemic index, coconut um, sugar. We're gonna be using some stevia and a little bit of monk fruit um, for zero sugar. Um, coconut oil, and we're gonna melt that, which Lori has handled already over here. And then some sort of liquid. So this is where you can get really creative. You can flavor it by either using lime juice. I am going to put a little bit of that lemon juice in. Um, I just find it really rounds out the flavor. Or um, you can go straight coconut and do coconut water or um, any kind of nut milk. So I'm gonna do the almond milk and a splash of the lemon because I think that really put it over the top mm -hmm. last time. So let's get started. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is measure out our dry ingredients and we're gonna put them right into your blender or food processor. Um, and that is two cups of desiccated coconut, AKA shredded coconut. So question for you as you're mm. measuring that. Yes. So when someone says lemon to you, do you automatically get that little like thing in the back of your cheek that I makes think my lips sour? first a oh, little bit. Yes. Yeah. How about you guys? Does that <laughs> happen to you? Because it totally happens to me like every time. Lemon. <laughs> yellow going yeah, on, you're very lemony sour. today. So you don't have a strong lemon flavor because we're just adding a dash, but I always find that if you're doing salty or sweet things, having complimentary mm -hmm. flavors just enhances everything. So um, actually, Jaden and I made a batch of these and it was just missing something, and once we added the lemon, I think that oh, was it. Nice. So now I'm gonna do one cup of almond flour. And it's a heavy cup, but that's okay. And there we go. Um, the next thing that it would call for is a sweetener. So this is where you would put your maple syrup. If you're using maple syrup or a similar liquid sweetener, it calls for a third of a cup. Um, so I don't have an exact measurement for us to um, you know, compensate, but I would just say- a squidge. A squidge, a sprinkle. Um, I like to use both the stevia and the monk fruit so it doesn't have an overwhelming flavor of stevia. Yeah. But I, since I'm just kind of odd living here, I go light and if it needs some more sweetener, we can always add it later. The other thing I'm gonna add that wasn't written on the recipe I found is some vanilla mm -hmm. um, because coconut vanilla is amazing. Oh, yeah. So we're out of liquid vanilla, but I have this um, gold vanilla vanilla powder. And I'm sorry you can't smell this, but Lori. Oh my god. It gosh. smells like a birthday cake. It so. smells, yes, or like um, a uh, soda. Yeah, you know, like I don't know. <laughs> cream soda? Cream soda. Yeah, yeah. a little bit With like a little bit of like ice cream in it. Uh oh. Okay, no, just I gonna do it. <laughs> I think similar to vanilla extract liquid, you probably wouldn't want to have like a spoonful of it. Um, but it smells <laughs> awesome. So just put a sprinkle in there again so we don't overdo it. And any other kind of flavors or extracts you want to 
play with. This is why it's Creative Kitchen. Okay, so we've got most of our dry stuff. We've got the coconut almond flour sweetener in there. The next thing we're gonna add is coconut oil. So we've melted our coconut oil again using two bowls. Yes. In the bigger bowl on the bottom, we put hot water and then put the coconut oil in the bowl on top. This just keeps it so it's not in direct flame, which would change the properties of the coconut oil. You can go ahead and dump that in there if you need to scrape it off. Yes. Yeah, that's gonna be great. Wonderful. So coconut oil gives it a nice texture and then also will allow the cookies to harden since we are not baking them. Right. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is add our liquid. So that's three teaspoons of whatever you're going to add. I'm gonna go with um, almond milk. Ooh, and score, this is vanilla almond milk. So I'm gonna do my Maybe like a little bit of some three so that I can add a little bit of lemon juice as well. Got the lemon juice. There you go. Yeah, just gonna give it a good squeeze. Have to follow your intuition on these things. Let's start melting the chocolate too. Yes. Oh, did you want me to do the whole bag? Probably not. The whole bag. <laughs> But oh, so it calms There's for... time to take them out. <laughs> there's time. Emergency, emergency. Okay, here. Let me grab the bowl. Okay, well, that's okay. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly how many. It calls for three ounces of dark chocolate. I don't know how much that is. I do know that last time Jaden and I melted way too much and then it's had to nice. dispose of it somehow. Oh, okay. I wonder how. <laughs> I don't know what happened to that. <laughs> So you said three. Yeah. That so, might be all I can get out. That's okay. You know what? I, it's perfect because I did. We do have some other cookies okay. already rolled and ready to go. So we will have more than the recipe calls for. Um, so again, this is hot water um, in the bowl underneath. And then the chocolate in there, you can just start to stir it around. Yeah, like this. Oh, the fantastic. other thing that has to go in there is coconut oil with the chocolate, that's two teaspoons. So you have okay. a teaspoon right there. So the oil and the chocolate will melt. And while Lori is doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and mix up our ingredients in the teaspoon. processor. Going in. Yes. You can see here that um, it's kind of a soft texture, and this is what you're actually going to take and roll together into the form of cookies. And I will show you. Um, this recipe should make between 20 to 25 cookies, depending on how large you make them. Um, you can also do balls, I guess, or get creative with your shapes. So all I do is I take a little bit um, and smoosh it up like this, and then... I put them onto a plate with some parchment paper underneath the cookies. So these I made ahead of time so that we um, didn't have to wait for the next part, which is after you get them all rolled and on the plate, you're gonna stick them in the fridge. Typically, you can stick them in the fridge while you melt your chocolate, just so they harden a little bit. So, so this would be the time where if you have like siblings, you would go ahead and like lick all the cookies um, just so that they wouldn't want them, right? Wow, I never thought of that and I never got enough cookies. <laughs> <laughs> now you know the secret. Oh, that is looking it's, so yummy. It's looking so good. Great. So are we ready? Chocolate so melted. Can you see that? It's all melted. <laughs> Lori is an excellent assistant. Um, Queen of raw vegan desserts as well, so this is super fun. Okay, so I think okay. we're ready. Great. So what and happens um, now? Why don't we just take this out of the water yeah. so we don't end up splashing it all over? Because oh, it's also hot. It's hot, yeah. That's the thing about hot water. <laughs> so now, these cookies have been in the fridge. They have mm -hmm. solidified, partially due to the coconut oil. And yes. what we're going to do is we're going to dunk them into the melted chocolate. Oh. Let the excess pour off, and then use all your willpower not to eat it. 
and put it back onto the parchment paper. This um, is so easy. It's so easy and they're so pretty. Actually, when we made them last time, everybody thought we bought cookies from the store. Wow. Well, so um, basically we're gonna do that with all of these cookies now. You also have an option to do a topping of some kind mm -hmm. and you can get creative with that. Um, some sea salt is really nice, mm. a little salty sweet, or you can use the rest of your desiccated coconut to put mm. a little sprinkle of white on top. Some sprinkles if you've got them. And dip one. Chopped nuts. Yeah, please go ahead. <laughs> um, if you find that your, your chocolate starts to harden, you just got to get it back in that water yeah. again. Look, that I looks mean, great. look at that, you guys. And how long did it take us? Like literally 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And exactly. it's so healthy and so good for you. That is incredible. And so after we dipping. get yeah, after we get all of these dunks, they dunked. They go back into the fridge and that will help the chocolate chocolate to solidify. And Jaden and I were really concerned that the chocolate was gonna stick to the paper right. and we were gonna have to eat all the cookies right there in the spot, but much to our dismay, they came off really easily. Did they? Okay, that's yeah. good to know. So it was quite perfect. Okay, guys. Well, that's it. That's it. Like, that is it. That's how you make these incredible, oh, and they're so delicious, cookies. Mm -hmm. Quick, easy, super healthy, and mm -hmm. super fun. Mm -hmm. Right? Definitely. Oh, we can't wait to share them with you, so come on over. But stay six <laughs> feet away because that, you know. Or better yet, uh, go back, watch this video again when you have all of your supplies together and yeah. make the cookies. There might not be enough. Yeah. Food. Share a photo with us. I never mm -hmm. learned if anybody made the avocado pie, yes. but I know we had a lot of interested viewers, so I would love to see what you come up with, especially topping-wise. I think you can get pretty creative mm -hmm. with that. Topping or different shapes. Yes. Or, I don't know, energy balls. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Well, guys, thanks for joining us. We had a super fun time here making these, and we're going to have an even better time eating them. Mm -hmm. And uh, join us for the next live video, which I think is Friday. We're going to do um, an art class. Great, with Sophia. Yeah, yeah. so perfect. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.